Hello, this is Michael Lanko, and I wanted to do this tutorial here for you. If you have a list of contacts in a spreadsheet, you can save that spreadsheet as a CSV file, doing File, Save As, and then selecting CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Value. But the problem that many people run into is they want to reformat some of the fields, like the phone number or the zip code as we'll take a look in this example. We're going to start with Microsoft Excel. We'll take a look at this document here. We're going to open this with Microsoft Excel. And as soon as this document opens up, there we go. And uh, we're going to open up some of these fields so that we can see all of the data and the email address and uh, so here we have column A, first name, last name, street address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email address, and IP address. And very common, these are the fields that you might run into. But you'll notice here that uh, zip codes that are in the Northeast, like up in Maine and uh, parts of New York, and you, they start with a zero. So in a spreadsheet, it's going to truncate or cut off that first zero. So how we're going to fix that in Microsoft Excel, it's very easy. You highlight the fields, or you can highlight the whole row, either way. Right-click, Format Cells, select Special, and then Zip Code. Select OK, and there you have it. It's fixed. And uh, over here in the phone numbers, oftentimes they'll be listed as just straight numbers, but to format them the way we like in the United States, you can just highlight the fields or highlight the whole column. Either way, right-click, format the cells, do special, and then phone number. And there you have it. Those are saved again. Now, if we were to save this document, save this document, we want to uh, keep the format, yes. And now we should be able to go over and take a look at this document we're going to refresh this field and come over here and take a look at what we just created. And as we open this up in just a quick notepad, we see that the phone numbers all are formatted with the area code in parentheses and the zip code that started with a zero is with a zero. So that did work properly. So we can close this up and now let's take a look at uh, how this works with Libra, which if you don't have Microsoft Excel, Libra Office is a free program. Here it is, Libra Office. And they have a calculator, word processor, um, a uh, PowerPoint-like program. This is completely free, it's open source, and it's legal. But we're gonna open it here, and this is done a little bit differently, but you can format them still, and I'll show you how. Once this program uh, loads up, pulls up this program, this file, we will take a look at how we can format these same fields. This will take just a moment. There we go. And here it has recognized the delimiter. It is uh, marked as comma. These are comma separated, so we're going to say OK. And here's our spreadsheet coming in, our test spreadsheet. Here we go. And uh, now here they've already opened up the fields so that it's nicely formatted. So the first is, is that we want to format these fields here, or you can do the whole column either way. And we're going to format these cells. And as we format the cells, here what we need to do is do the user-defined. And I had to scroll up to find this, but the user-defined. And in the user-defined area, we want to uh, just make sure that this has leading zeros to it. Number, or we want to do the number, I'm sorry. And the number, we want to make sure it is set to five for a five-digit zip code. And when we say OK, there the zero populates in there. So once again, we're just doing the formatting cells, we're doing number, and we're putting leading zeros, making it all the way up to five. And what that would do for us is, let's say this one here was just one, two, 
you see all of those leading zeros up to five it would that's what the zip code would be now how can we correct this uh, phone number here it's a little bit different we're going to highlight this or we could do the whole column you can do it either way but we need to format these cells and this is where we're going to do the user defined right here and the user defined we're going to do left parenthesis pound 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 right parenthesis a space and then pound 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 hyphen pound 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 so i call them pound you might call them tic-tac-toe or hash mark same thing and we want to define this as usa phone number and select OK. And there you go. There you have it. And if we were to uh, save this file, use the text CSV format, uh, we can close it up now that we have saved it. And now we want to refresh and come over and take a look at what we just corrected. And let's make sure that that is, yes, it did save this. And uh, it also saved the um, zip codes with the leading zeros. I did notice here that it changed the commas to a tab. Now, here in uh, most text editors, you can correct this. And you can do this by just highlighting the tab, which is what I've done here. Just put my mouse here and highlight it. And then I'm going to call up my find feature put in the replace as just a comma, and then replace all. Now, all of those were changed at one time. Now it is, uh, once again, a comma-separated value, and I can file, save this file. And it is, once again, saved. So whether you're using uh, Libra Office or whether you're using Microsoft Excel, that's how you can save your contact list in a comma-separated value reformat the phone number, and also reformat the zip codes to accommodate leading zeros. Have a great day.